It's good as an entertainment, it's good as an intellectual stimulus, and it's also good as a business stimulus because the folks that are coming to the theater are going to have dinner before they go to the show. And if they're an out-of-towner, they're going to buy things at the shops. And um, so it's, it's, it, it's great for the soul, but it's also great for commerce. And, and, our, and, and our hope and our dream is that um, when, when, when 300 people are coming to the Garfield Center uh, every night, that there will be an overflow in the restaurants in town, in the shops in town, if people should choose to come from out of town and stay overnight, that this will be, you know, a stimulus for the whole center, center of town area. I think theater is, a, is a, an essential component to our social fabric. I, we, as, as, as a civilization, we, we have been telling stories since people lived in caves and drew pictures on the walls of the caves. And, and even in prehistory, we have, we have a Greek Greek theater, and uh, we have Shakespearean theater. People have yearned to be entertained. People love storytelling. Um, uh, Homer's Odyssey is theater. It's theater, it's, it's a narrative that's passed on by memory from, from generation to generation. So it, it, theater's part of our DNA. I, I have faith in the town, and everyone I know has, uh, and even folks I don't know, who've come up and introduced themselves, I think they've embraced the idea. I think they're excited about it, and, um, and they appreciate my commitment, and that's good, but I want everyone in the community to be shareholders. One person can't do it, and one person shouldn't do it. And one person from Philadelphia shouldn't do it, even though I consider this one of my homes. Everyone needs to, to, to pitch in. Everyone needs to be a stakeholder in, in, in the Garfield Center. Then, then it will be truly successful. And I think we're heading in the right direction. There's wonderful people in, in Chestertown. There's a lot of places in the world. Uh, my wife and I have been very fortunate. I think we've been to 67 countries uh, at last count. And uh, I've, I've been on African plains and I've been on top of the Alps, but I'm not sure I've seen many sites that are more beautiful than we see when we look out at the Chester River, see land that's in conservancy that will never be built upon, and there's not another home in sight. I'm never more peaceful when, when I'm at our home uh, enjoying nature. Uh, the town, um, you know, it's funny, I've, I've lived in our community in the Philadelphia suburbs for over 30 years. And other than the pharmacy and maybe a local restaurant, no one knows me. And I walk down Main Street and folks say, hey Matt, how are you? What's up? And just getting from here to the Blue Heron, or from here to the New York Deli, or here to Carla Massoni's place, I've spoken to ten people and had a nice chit chat. And it's 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 that fabric of the community that that just draws us here and and keeps us here and 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 makes us want to invest in the community. It's a special place, and 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 it needs to be preserved as such.